Hello? Yeah, what's going on, sir? All right, man. All right, man. Yeah, we, we couldn't get the live going. I, I don't understand why. I really don't. I mean, they could hear me. It was like, we hear you, Lockout. We just couldn't hear the caller. I'm over here yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm over here like, they, they couldn't hear you. I'm like, boy, you, you, you got some brand of, uh, brand, brand of mute button over there that I'm not, that I'm not understanding. I, I'm like, yo, I hear you clear, uh, crystal clear in my ear. And I'm like, yo, all right. So let's, uh, let's take it offline. Let's take it to, uh, let's take it to the streets. What's going on guys? Lockout men. In the building, back with another podcast. Uh, yo, my man, uh, this this dude right here, this young brother right here. You know, he had a, you know, he had a question for me. He brought it to me in the live feed, but you know, we we couldn't we couldn't get the live going on. You know what I'm saying? I tried I tried it the one way, tried it the other way. I could we we actually could have went on ahead and continue with the live, but it wouldn't have been fair to you guys because y'all couldn't hear nothing that he was saying. Y'all hear everything I was saying, but y'all was like, "Yo, we can't hear him. We can't hear him." So I said, "Fuck it." You know, he still. You know, he's still my guy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't leave him in the wind or nothing like that. So I brought him in on the podcast so he can come, you know, say, you know, say what he had to say and see if 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 any advice that I can give him help him out. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the show, my man Dave. My man Dave to the show. Straight off, straight off the lot. Straight. How 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 often do you do, do you call somebody? on 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 a youtube live and and from youtube live you 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 jump right into the podcast how how often is that first time first First time brother first time first time man let let everybody know uh who you are and where you come from bro yes sir name's dave henry man from st louis missouri north side st louis uh, 170 man right by the uh by the ta of 170 and uh and grand Okay, okay. You know, okay, that's um, been cooking. <clears throat> I've been a chef man for um about ten years, man. I worked for um Cheesecake Factory. I was a uh, hiring chef. Basically what that meant, I would go from the city to city, wherever restaurant they wanted to start up, they would send me out. Mm-hmm. I would handle business, I would uh, get the cook situated, I would get the staff situated in the back of the house mm-hmm. and uh we took it from there. That sounds that that sounds interesting, man. Why 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 you gave that up? What what why you gave that one up, man? <laughs> it wasn't me, man. It was um it was the management. Um, they kept bringing a lot of people, man. Uh, with mm-hmm. no experience, man. And uh, it was time to let it go. Oh, okay, okay. Before that, I did um before that I did I was in the Marine Corps mm-hmm. for uh, four years, man. The infantry. Zero three eleven for all your your listeners out there, man. Well, uh, well thank I you. I was a grunt. Thank you, thank you for your service, man. Thank you for your service. What uh, you you did for you you did four years, man. You only had you you only had sixteen more to go. What what happened, bro? Man, I was uh, I was burnt out, man. Uh, a lot of my platoon, man, uh, they was wiped out overseas, man. Um, oh, wiped out. You, you, I- you, you talking about wiped out as in like like wiped out, wiped out, or just wiped well, then, uh, out? I'll put it to you like this, uh, big dog. Uh, they're not on this planet anymore, man, but uh, they're in a different realm. I got you. I got you. But, uh, you know, I, got I just you. got burnt out, man. I want to do something different. I always had a passion for cooking and um, and trucking, man. Like, I used to see uh, um, Halliburton come over there, man, and um, with their trucks, man, and um, independent contractors. They was making uh, a quarter meal every year, man, doing the same thing we were doing, and we were getting, uh, you know, pennies on the dollar. Okay, so you said they was on the truck cooking and and making that cheese, huh? Man, if you were over the road uh, truck driver and you went overseas, man, between two thousand and three and two thousand and seven, man, you were, you came home with a quarter meal, man. Mm. And they gave them time in Dubai and get uh, for uh, it's called R and R relaxation, mm-hmm. and uh, they were eating, man. So um, I've seen how truck drivers were living. Now when I came home, I'm like. 
Now, now, I, now I want to stop you right there. I, I want to stop you right there. That's I, I know that's how I know that's how they were showing that they was living and what they was making. Did you did you actually get a chance to, you know, chop it up with them to see what they had to go through to get to where they was at? Because a lot of a lot of these guys, including including YouTube truckers, they they they'll try to sweeten this shit, and this shit is really ain't sweet, bro. So did you? So no, did, sir. Uh, I was actually a uh, um, my platoon, um, third platoon of uh, Fifth Marine Division. We were actually um, uh, basically we were bodyguards. Mm -hmm. We protected them. I know what they were making. Mm -hmm. Just hauling water, man. I I, I seen I seen everything so i mean uh a lot of them might want you know fabricate things but from my, from my perspective and the people i've worked with based out of north carolina they they were making money man okay. it was previously called a uh, blackwater um uh, the company uh i want to get in i won't get into all the politics but uh yeah they were they were doing it so did uh so was this the military uh, uh was this the military guys driving trucks or this was like Independent contractors driving trucks for the military. No, sir. They were civilians um, contracted through the military. Oh, okay. See now, truck. now see that. Now see now you now you beginning to put it in perspective for me. Now you know they got yes, they got that good military contract, and that's where that that's where the cheese is coming in. At you know what I'm saying? They got a you yes, know sir. they got that they got that good military contract. Now some of them now I, I'm. I'm sure if some of them didn't have that military contract, then I'm sure, um, I'm definitely sure that that uh, that what they was making, they probably wouldn't might about might not been making it. Um, so you uh, so you was so you was fascinated by that, but you was at first you was um, at first you was uh, you know being in the military, and you got fascinated with trucks being in the military. So when you came out of the Wait, oh go ahead oh uh, go ahead go ahead no nah, so I was saying so when you came out of the military um was you still you were well, you were still interested in in driving trucks what was what was the way that you that you was doing to 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 get into the trucking field well, I can say right now my motivation that made me think about it much harder every day was when I was in, um, I was going to work five o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and, um, I had to deal with drivers, man, from Cisco, U.S. Foods, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, Stigma, um, Kuna. Mm -hmm. So I seen the potential in the, in the truck driving field, but I just, at the time, I just had to have a full-time job because I was raising a family and I was trying to provide. Okay. But I seen the potential because I seen, um, uh, you know, how hard they were working and they were making good money. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for sure. You know, some uh, some local drivers do, you know, they're well off, you know, local. Some will come and tell you that OTR is the way to go to make some money, you know, but it's all about it's it's all about where you you know, where you want to do your homework and your and your research at. If you want if you want that's to right. do if you want to do local, if you want to do local and you want to go local, then do your research pertaining to that because there is money. There is money to be made in local truck driving. You know what I'm saying? Uh, same thing yes, with, sir. same thing with, uh, same thing with OTR. You know, of course, everybody knows that you got to at least run about 3000 miles to get a decent paycheck. You know what I'm saying? But some people figured mm -hmm. some, some people figured it out. Like, yo, I don't have to run, 3,000 miles and recoup my clock and uh, run on recaps and, and all like that, you know, I could just do, you know, I could just do regional. I could do regional. I could do about three 3,000 miles regional and still be home on Saturday in time for morning cartoons. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, and that's another thing, man, as far as, um, they just like the government, man. You only can climb. The government has certain certain ranks. Mm -hmm. They go by G's. Mm -hmm. You only can make a certain amount of money, and then everything is capped. But as for being an OTR, like you said, sir, I feel your potential being an OTR. You will make more than a local. 
drug job unless you have the right opportunity. But from my perspective, that's the way to go for me because uh, I came from the ghetto, man. I live, I'm not going to say I'm living in the slums, but I don't live in the situation where I want to live to raise my family. And it's a hard city, just like Cleveland, man. Like, just listen to the music. Right, people right. You, can relate. Right, you, people can relate. Bone Thugs. Right. You want to. Uh, you, you wanna, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. You, everybody can relate. Yeah. You know, it's in, and everybody talk, everybody talk about the city. You know what I'm saying? I, I love, you know, I represent my city. I love my city. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too crazy about the teams, but you know what I'm saying? When LeBron James <laughs> came, when LeBron James came and won to, you know, help you know, the Cavs win their championship for the first time. You know what I'm saying? The Browns still trying to get their footing, and Cleveland Indians, you know, they at least went to the World Series at least three times in my lifetime. They they haven't won it yet, but but everybody, you know what I'm saying? I, I support my city. I'm from my city and all like that. But, yeah, a lot of a lot of cats, you know, like Bone Thugs and Harmony, you know, um, uh, 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 Machine Gun Kelly and the rest of you know, and the rest of the fellas that that came through, they they had no choice but to leave the city. You know, it, it wasn't because it wasn't because of their you know probably wasn't because of their lifestyle or anything like that, but they had no choice but to leave the city because in order for them to further their career, they had to go somewhere to to uh they had to go to a city that that was that was more focused on their career and cleveland unfortunately cleveland just wasn't it you know what i'm saying as for bone thugs and harmony you know they went you know they went to los angeles they slept on um they they slept on the floor in easy's house while they was recording uh they first their very first album successful album by the way and um they, you know, they were sleeping on couches. They were sleeping on floors and all like that. And they had to do what they had to do to get that, you know, to get the grind, you know. And they came they came back to the city when they were successful and, you know, showed love. You know what I'm saying? That's just like how, how a truck driver got to be. You know what I'm saying? We got, you know, there's there's nothing local, even though there's local now, you know, because I didn't realize there was a lot of local companies, a lot of local truck driving companies. But... They're looking for two year, three year. Some is looking for like damn near five years of experience. You know what I'm saying? So of course you're yeah. gonna have to you're gonna have to leave the city and go to, you know, Illinois or or Wisconsin or Minnesota, um, Chattanooga, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? So you have to go to them cities to go to to the companies that's gonna give you the chance. You know what I'm saying? You go go get the chance, get your you know get your miles in. Hopefully that you don't get in no you know serious accidents because you're gonna get in you're gonna get in a couple of preventables out there. You're gonna get in a couple of uh you know a couple of non preventables. You know what I'm saying? It's inevitable. It's depending on depending on what it is, what it is. You know that's that's driving. You know somebody gonna cut you off. Somebody gonna shortstop you. Somebody gonna sideswipe you. You know I like that, but. These, you know, these, uh, these major companies, they will give you that opportunity to, you know, get your, get your, uh, get your feet wet. But see, the thing is with that, you need a good trainer to help you along the way. So, like I said, again, you gotta, you know, you gotta do your homework. Now, as far as local goes, like I said, there is some local companies that will take you. You just gotta, you just gotta you know, do a little, di a little bit more extensive homework. Let me ask you this. Um, I, um, have you ever been a trainer? Have I been a trainer? You know, I was asked to be a trainer so many damn times, but, um, man, you make a good one, man. Cause I, I could tell by your videos, man, you will motivate people, man. Like, well, yeah, you I, motivate me right I, now, sir. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. But nah, I'm, you know, I'm not the trainer type. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not the trainer type, man. Right. I get, you know, I get you on my, I get you on my truck. By the time I get you on, I, by the time I get you on the truck, I'm ready to get you off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to get you. Space. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to get you <laughs> off, man. But I was, you know, when I was with uh, U.S. Express, I was asked. uh I was asked so many times to, you know, to train and all like that. But, you know, it's just unfortunate that uh, 
that I didn't go because I felt that at the time when they was asking me to train, I only had six months myself. You know what I'm saying? I only had six or seven, you know, six or seven months. I mean, they started asking me in my third month, you know, like, yo, lockout, you want to, you want to train for us and all like that? You want to train for us? And I was like, nah, nah. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be the blind leading the blind. I can't, I can't train this man. I'm still learning myself. Well, true, you, you, true. you can train, you can train him. You can give him the experience that you learning already. Uh, which is what I'm still trying to get my feet wet out here. You know what I'm saying? Try not to get in no yes, truck. Try not to get in no trouble. Try not to get in no accident. I'm not trying to, I, I can't do it. But like I said, they've been asking and asking and asking. But again, as far as a trainer goes, I think a trainer should at least have at least uh, on the low end, two years. And then on a, you know, on a high end, whatever, whatever the amount. Okay, I, I seen one video. You said, "Uh, I, I gotta give, give it to you on this, man. This was motivated me the most, man. Mm -hmm. Two days ago, man, I'm trying to go to Family Dollar, man, get some stuff for the house. You know, you know, toilet paper. Everybody going crazy over that. Yeah, everybody going and, uh, crazy this, over this, that this, shit. This chip, man. You can go to Aldi, man. Hey, <laughs> stocks. <laughs> hey, shit. Hey, hey, everything is um stocked up, man. Don't go to Walmart. You ain't gotta go to Target." Go to Aldi. I go to your local family doctor. Right, or right, country. right. See, that's another. That's yeah. With this pandemic that's going on, everybody, everybody is flocking to the big box stores. They they forgetting about the they forgetting about the small fries. You know the mm -hmm. the Aldis, the neighborhood stores. But you also gotta watch out for for motherfuckers that be price gouging too. You know what I'm saying? The one dude, one dude literally said that he paid thirty five dollars. For a fucking bottle of Perel, like thirty five dollars, oh, dude. Man. Come on now. But he he, he had he, <laughs> he had no he, well he had a choice, but he was like fuck it because he needed it. So, hey man, if you from where I'm from, man, uh, hey, I hate to say this, man, from your listeners, man, you got a sock, man, uh, you got a towel, man, you got to do what you handle your business, man, before the, the situation even popped up, you know. Hey, look, I talked to my girl last night. You know, we had a good we had, we had a good podcast last night. And she was like, yo, we had to, we, you know, we couldn't use the restrooms in these, uh, we, we can't use the restrooms in these shippers and receivers and shit. You know, they're not, they're not giving, you know, they over here saying they want us to help and all like that, but they're not giving us the opportunity to, you know, use the, use the amenities that we need to use. She said she had to make a, mm -hmm. she had to make an instant porter potty in her damn truck. Man. So, mm. so yeah, man. So, yeah. so you, um, so you out you 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 out here looking, man. Where 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 are you at right now as far as uh as far as your journey getting you know getting into this game? Man, nothing right now. So I'm just working out, um hanging out with the son, man, chilling with the wifey. Mm -hmm. But um I got a comment on something that you said, man. Uh, okay. I gotta bring this up. Like, okay. You may not like this though. Go ahead, go ahead. No, because I'm I'm a work I'm, I work out every day. Mm -hmm. But you said one thing about uh Listen, freight, man. Uh, that's what got me inspired, man. When I went to Dollar Tree, man. When I seen that one driver, I had to say, "Uh, man, I'm excuse me, man. I didn't want to." Uh, no, no, no. You good? You good? Go ahead. Okay, yeah. When I seen that, uh, you know, he he was doing this. He every said, "Dude, man, mm -hmm. he's doing his thing, man." I'm like, man, that's that's what really inspired me, man. That's why I look three o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. I looked at that video that you made on two two thousand and seventeen about uh CR England. That's what inspired me. Mm -hmm to do this man and you uh, made that that um that live feed today but why would why don't you want to touch freight man you're gonna stay in shape you're gonna look great man no homo man you already look great man but <laughs> come on man you can touch that freight nah <laughs> man I, it's easy nah, man. women can do it nah bro nah bro uh yeah i i oh, and much man. hey listen shout out to the to to the women that's doing uh yes, that's sir. doing that shit, man. I'm about to as a matter of fact, I'm about to see it as soon as I hang up with you, I'm about to see if Pinky is available. Uh so we could chop it up. Mm. But she's doing uh she's doing touch freight. Uh 
she's doing the family dollar accounts with uh with the company called Epps. And shout out to all the other women that's uh that's like flat betters and all like that. I talked to a few, I talked to a few flat betters, females, they getting out there doing the damn thing. But me, uh man, nah. It's it, you know, like I said, man, I got I got I got bad knees. I got a bad back. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not just saying that I don't want to, that I don't want to do it. I'm just saying for health reasons, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But definitely shout out to the, to the, to the, to the people that's, that's, that's doing the damn thing though. I do not have a problem. Right. I do not have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? If you could get out there and, 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 and do it, Definitely do it. You know what I'm saying? Because some, you know, some companies pay better. I'm not sure about U.S. Express and what they paying now for a touch freight, but, but they was when, when Nell was doing it, they, they was paying pretty good. They was paying him about $200 a trailer, uh, paying them for, you know, paying them for the touch <laughs> and, um, and also paying them for the miles. So he was bringing home about, a good thirteen, about a good thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars a week, but okay. But best believe he was tired as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Now I seen you did a video uh, with your main man uh, out of Minnesota. My my little cousin, man, he actually uh, getting ready to move to Minnesota to become a, a correctional officer. Man, he told me to come up there, and, you know, and join him, whatever, man. But uh. I can't really do the call like that, but uh Yeah, Minnesota, you gotta with, yeah, you gotta be used to <laughs> you gotta be used to Minnesota weather. That the wet the weather, the went the the winters up there ain't no damn joke, bro. Yeah, I know. That's why I like at the but, uh, at the time oh go ahead, go ahead. Uh, go, go ahead. No, I was saying at the time, uh when I had my you know, when I when I did my stint up there, you know, they always like when it was a bad weather situation. They they try not to have mm-hmm. me to come up that way because they knew about the time I come up that way I'll be stuck and they know that I like to move so they usually kept me down south. Okay. Well, can you uh give me a little, little bit of inspiration, man, uh, as far as the pay, uh, as far as the truck driver? Um, I know I, I know I'm making pennies on a dollar, man. Um, uh, you know, the first thing out, I'm I'm cool with that, man. I gotta you know you gotta get in where you fit in. But you know, um, as far as this company CR England, man, uh, yeah, man, it's not sitting too well with a brother, man. Like as far as my lifestyle, but well, what like uh, you told me, what have you, what, 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 who have you, uh, who have you tried with so far? I've tried a uh, CRST mm-hmm. based out of Iowa. I tried a uh, one the transportation. Mm-hmm. I tried Prime. They said they can't do nothing with me, uh, but oh, I, you, I don't understand that oh, you situation. Said, either. Oh, you said Prime couldn't do well. Explain. You know, we we talked a little bit. Uh, we we talked a little bit before. So, uh, let's 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 catch up with 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 your situation. Why you know why why your situation the way it was? Uh, you were saying something about child support. So give give a little bit background on that so that everybody can know. Um, why it's hard for you to, you know, get make it, you know, make it forward with some with some of these truck drive uh trucking uh companies. Yes, sir. Um I started out in um in September, um I decided, man, um uh, time to get my uh CDL, you know, I made my mind up. I was laid off in uh basically uh November and uh it just happened like that. Mm-hmm. But um when I went to get my CDL um permit they told me that basically um, so my license was suspended based on child support. And it was a situation where I didn't know that was my, my son and I, I hate to say it like that right. on your show. Right. But it happened and they went back in the rears, man. The amount was um, over a certain amount where they suspended my license. That was the first step. And that's how I found out. And now I'm in the situation I'm in now. But I'm, I'm trying to fight through it and being out of work because of the situation, you know, what's going on over the world. And I want to, you know, I want to change my life, man, and just and get back, get back on feet. You know, there's only so much you can have in your savings, man, where you can support yourself. But right, right. everything's but when running that, out. Yeah, when, that, you know? when that savings, when that savings account runs dry, 
you're gonna need to find you're gonna need to find a way to re- replenish that shit. So I, I see where you're coming you're from, man. Um, all right, so so I, I'm not a you know I I don't know I don't know what happened in your situation to to you know for them to come and and snatch up your license and all like that. You know, by the sounds of it, you know, you you honestly didn't know that the the kid was yours. You know, maybe, you know, you didn't have no contact with the mother and the mother didn't, you know, the mother didn't let you, you know, pretty much didn't let you know. So she pretty much kept, you know, I, I don't want to, I mean, I am, am I'm, am I'm correct in what I'm stating right now? She kept, she kept you out of, out of your son's life for a period of time. Well, I can tell you like this, man. I will, uh, <laughs> when I was in Marine Corps, man. Um, uh, you know, uh, you know, you go from different city to city, mm-hmm. and uh, things happen. But when something happens, man, like they went back and just when when he was born, mm-hmm. they brought everything back. And uh, I'm pretty sure you have uh, you know, people in your situation in your circle that knows all about this, man. And after I'm starting from scratch. Yeah, you know, they're, they're, you know. yeah, yeah. Yeah, once once the courts I think it's called a, a rears yeah, uh, rears uh, support. Yeah, once the courts get involved, that yeah. Yes, that's sir. that's what happened to me with when I was uh when I was unemployed and you know, I kept, you know, I, I wasn't I'm not going to say that I took advantage of unemployment as just, you know, my But the thing my, is, sir, I was, I was employed. I mean, <laughs> I was matter of fact, I was in uh, Milwaukee at the time. When when this happened, I'm like, man, what the hell? Like, okay, yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, but I'm I'm, so I'm just real, man. Yeah, I'm just talking about when the courts get involved. It's you know, it's it's a whole oh, yeah. Yeah. it's a whole yeah. different ball game when 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 the courts get involved with shit. So they came, so they came, snatch up your license. How how long did it take? How long did it take you to 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 get it fixed to to get it rectified? Because you said you just got it back what last month. Yep, it took like two days, man. They wanted me to pay uh, a certain amount of money as far as um, for the um, past payments. I paid that, mm-hmm. and um, let me instead in my license. I mean, it was that quick, man. I'm like, man. So y'all put me through all this drama yeah. for nothing. I mean, <laughs> they uh, they they I, they'll snatch your they'll, they'll snatch your they'll they they'll snatch your um, they they'll snatch your shit quick. And then take a long time to 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 rectify your shit. But you said when you got on the ball with that, they 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 put it back in motion for you. You know, the, the only thing yes, the only thing that I don't like about that shit is the fact that they tell you to excuse me. They'll tell you to, yo, we need you to, you know, step up and take care of your responsibility and and this, that, and the third. But you're you're taking what I consider my responsibility to take care of my responsibility. You, you snatch, you snatch my driver's license. You, uh, you limited him. You're limiting me of, uh, of, uh, of opportunities out there. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, it's a good thing that they gave it back to you. So now that you got it back and you pretty much, you know, you, you said you called prime and prime turned you down you know what, what was it? What you said to him? You just told him that you know my license was uh was suspended or revoked or. For- yes, sir. That, that's the first. It was I, I've never had a revoked license. Last time I had a speeding ticket, actually, man, when I was a damn teenager, man, I remember uh, probably when that Nelly came out, man. Mm-hmm. It was what, 2000, <laughs> 2001, 2002? Yeah. I see. But um, as far as that, man, I was honest with him. Like, what do I have to do to apply for your company? Mm-hmm. With the requirements, mm-hmm. and I told them the situation, and they said, uh, "We can't even, uh, we can't do nothing with you." Wow! And when I, and I'm like, "Damn!" I called Swift. I'm like, "They said you have to wait one year." I mean, from the day it was suspended, I'm like, "I can't wait that long. I can't wait till September." You know, and I, um, you know, Swift. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, excuse my language. Uh, your uh, your England. They they said they would work with me. Well, some of these, like, Man, yeah, maybe I some of these companies, like I said, some of these companies would give you, 
will give you an opportunity. They'll give you, they're sort of like second chance companies. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I thought Swift was one of them. I thought Swift would at least give you, give you a shot under the circumstances. But, um, but man. if if like I said, man, I'm I'm not a fan of CRST. I, I, take, I take that back. Uh, I mean, uh, I, CR I, I had to cut you off. Mm-hmm. I have, I have uh, one more company. Uh, I, it was one company out of Chicago. Um, they were um, from the um, they spoke with the accent. Um, I think they were from the uh, Ukraine. Okay. And they told me they they give me a shot that no matter what, as long as I come with a license, they don't care what you have on your record. I'm like, man. Man, I, and I, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Wait like, a minute, wait, take anybody? Well, wait, 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 wait. What's the name of the company, though? Um, you you remember the name of the company? <sighs> no, sir. No, sir. Uh, I wrote it. Damn, it's your mother phone. No, sir. All right. But uh, yeah, they they said they take anybody, man. Well, shit. I need that. I need that. I need that name right there, man. Shit. So I can pass that on. So when we when you get okay, a t- but they said oh, uh, go ahead. They said it was on a uh, ten ninety nine, and um. Uh, you know, no questions asked or nothing like that. As long as you wouldn't have run, I'm like, wow. Yeah, now, see, here's the thing with the 1099, though. The 1099, you're responsible. They, they don't have that. And I think that's why they say that is because you're running 1099. If you run in 1099, then you're not, they're not responsible for nothing as far as um, benefits, as far as benefits, as far as, um, uh, 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 taxes and all like that. You have to pay your own taxes at the end of the year. You have to figure out where you know, figure out where you're going to get your benefits from, and all that. So, with with that said, then yeah, that's they'll give you a chance because you know of whatever situation they want to bring you on, and you can run. But for like, but for like CR England, you know what I'm saying? If they're going to give you the op, yes, I, I'm not a fan of them. But if they're going to give you the opportunity, I, I would say take it and just go in there for your experience. That's that should that's where it should all boils down to. Just go in there, get your experience. Once you get it, bounce out, and then you'll be able to get something else better, better later. Okay. So, uh, but as far as your experience, uh, do you feel? Over the road is where it's, I mean, because uh, right now, I mean, can I speak my mind? Hold on, what'd you say? Can I speak my mind? Oh, yeah, yeah. Speak my mind this way. Yeah, go ahead. My personal life. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, me and my old lady, I mean, I don't think this is going to work out, man, but I'm trying my best. But uh, but uh, you think over the road, man, is uh, the best way to take or uh, doing local, man? Well, even if it's not in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, okay, so. I mean, you know. So you are you you and your well, I'm not a relationship ex, uh, expert, but uh, but you and your you and your <laughs> you and your lady y'all y'all going through a thing right now. Well, she feels uh she wants me to stay in this field, man, the culinary field, man. I got a I got a degree, man, but it just it's not in me no more, man. Like after what I've been through, man, all, all those years, man, being gone back and forth, back and forth. Man, I've been from Maine to San Diego. Um, I, I started basically. I started the first uh, cheesecake factory in uh, in Wyoming, man. Now, 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 let me tell you this: if if you don't feel like traveling, uh, if you don't feel like traveling, bro, then over the road is really not going to be for you because you you're gonna get you're gonna get homesick quick. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yes, sir. Over. Over the road, like I said before in the beginning, you you got different type you got different type of people out here that'll tell you the money is over the road, the money is local, the money is this, the money is that. Right now, the money shouldn't even be an issue at this point because you're not going to make the kind of money that you want in the first year anyway. You see what I'm saying? The first two, the first two months, first month, two months, or something like that, you're gonna be, you're gonna be making like five hundred dollars a week on the low end. You know what I'm saying? That's because you're training. You're gonna be out with a trainer for, for about two, three, two, three, four weeks or something like that, and you're only gonna bring, you're only gonna get like five, you know, maybe five, six hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? 
after that, once you get your truck and depending on who's your fleet manager, you you're gonna be running all over, bro. Uh, you you know you you probably might be running the lower forty eights, the high forty eights. You might be might be running in areas where you have to get out and put chains on. You probably the Colorado Rockies. You probably might be hitting mountains and shit like that. So if if not if not traveling all over, you know, because you you already said that you you felt burnt out going over, you know, from diff, I mean, from state to state, you know, with 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 your with your present or past company, and you feeling a little burnt out on that. This right here would give you something different because you're doing something different. But I guarantee you, down the line, you're going to get burnt out from it, and you're going to feel you're going to feel the same way. Now. If your girl wants to wants you to stay local, then yeah, like I said, fine. You know, you you just got to put a little bit more work into it, but definitely find the you know the 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 local work. Like you know, just ride up to the side of the day cab truck, take a picture of the take a picture of the of the company name, write it down, do your homework on that company, call them up and say, hey. Um, I'm I'm a new I'm a new driver out here. I just got out of school. Um, you know, are, are you guys hiring people uh, hiring people out of school and that can train you know that can train me for a couple? And then you know, don't the only the only bad thing they can say is no. You know, you just got to find that company that is just say yes, just like you found just like you found the the company up in Illinois and. And CRS, I mean CRST, god damn it, man. Uh CR England. You just have to you just gotta yeah. put in a you just gotta put in a little bit more work. Now, if you like I said, I'm not I'm no relationship expert, trust me. I'm I'm far from that. But if 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 you guys going through a thing, if you guys going through a thing and you you going OTR, I think that's probably might put a little bit more strain on your relationship because you're not going to be able to see her, see her as much as you want to see her. You know what I'm saying? And she's not going to see, yes, sir. she's not going to see you as much as you want to see her or, or she wants to see you. So that's, that's going to, that's going to put a larger strain on the relationship right there. So, I mean, I, I hate the, I, I, you know, I hope what I give you, what I'm, what I'm giving you, man, it's all good. Yeah, man. I, I, I appreciate. Yeah, it. that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping what I'm giving you is, you know, pretty good, you know, and you could take it, put it in the pot, mix it up, and 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 figure out where you want to do from there, you know. But like I said, you know, again, I'm no relationship expert, but I could tell you, I could tell you one thing for sure: if if you're not around. If you're not around for a long period of time, it's, it's going to work. It's going to work on the both of you because it takes it takes two to work that relationship. And in trucking, trust me, man, a lot of guys been there, done that with 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 they they relationships. So, but yeah, man. Okay. But yeah, man. But uh, I appreciate you coming on. You know, we had to come. You know. Yes, sir. Oop, wrong button. Yeah, there we go. We had to, we had to, you know, bring it outside the live stream and all like that. But I appreciate you, you know, uh, hollering at me, you know, and 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 you know, supporting me and all like that, supporting the channel. I really do appreciate that, bro. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate you, sir, man. And, uh, I'm gonna continue to follow you, man, and uh, and keep giving all, all your uh, people, man, on your on your platform, uh, all the inspiration okay. you have in the world, man, because. Uh, you have a lot of knowledge, man. Not just truck women, but I see I see more than that, man. I see more. Than I that. appreciate you, bro, man. And if you uh, and if you you know whatever whatever you go, which whichever route you go, man, whatever route you go, you know, see uh, CR England or or that company in uh, Illinois. Make sure you hit me back with that, man. Test test me back with that information. I definitely need to. Okay. I definitely need to get that out, you know, because I, you know, we got okay. we got brothers out here that's that's looking for second chance, and and if that's the company that's going to give it to them, they, you know, they'll probably jump on. But but yeah, man. So yeah, you have a good one, and uh, I'll chop it up with you later, man. 
Yes, sir. I appreciate you putting me on your platform, man. I appreciate the channel, man. And, uh, man, all is good to you and your fam, man. For sure. Real talk. For sure. What I mean. All right, Dave, everybody. Yes, sir. All right, man, you take it easy. You too, sir. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Um, you know, like I said, if if you, you know, if if you like him and you need um, you know, you you running into a whole bunch of roadblocks, you know, you running into a whole bunch of roadblocks that's not getting you nowhere and you got a whole bunch of companies that just saying no, 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 no and it gets frustrating, it gets irritated, you know what I'm saying? And you'll be sitting there and you'll be like, the fuck, man? What am I going to do? And all like that. Don't don't let it get you down. Don't let it get you down. Let 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 that build up. You know what I'm saying? Let let that build up. Let let it let it work so you can at least Find somebody that will at least give you the opportunity, give you that chance. If you get um, if you get that opportunity, you get that chance, you you'll work from there. Now it may not be sweet in the beginning. You know, you you gotta look at it this way. You gotta look at it, you gotta look at it like, okay, I'm getting my feet wet. Um, I'm trying, you know, I'm getting my feet wet, I'm getting my experience. I know uh, a year or two down the line, I can be in something else better. So just look at it that way. And when you look at it that way, you'll, you'll, you'll be good to go. You'll be good to go, man. Yo, this is a lockout, man. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell. Bing. For more content like this. I am your humble host lockout men. And, um, uh, and that's it. That's it. We are gone.